Fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. Forty years of darkness, earthquakes, volcanoes. The dead rising from the grave. Human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together. Mass hysteria. With comic book shops facing extinction and book sales going down the drain, I'm pretty sure Marvel's going to do something really amazing to turn things around. What's this? A new Warriors reboot? Let's have a look. My name is Daniel Kibblesmith, and I am the writer of New Warriors number one. I'm sure Marvel got a real comic book fan to write this. I remember seeing them on the shelf when I was a kid, picking up comics in the 90s, and just feeling like they were too cool for me. Like I was intimidated by, you know, Night Thrasher who had a blade coming out of his wrist. You know, Nova was really buff, and uh, they were all the edgy characters uh, for the 90s. As I'm going to assume you didn't read any comic books in the 90s because the new warriors were downright tame. But let's have a look at the characters you've created. I'm sure this isn't going to be a disaster. They're going to be just great. So the first character that we're introduced to is Trailblazer. She's a group home and foster kid who is volunteering at a senior center. And she inherited from her grandfather a magic backpack of divine origin. A magical backpack. A backpack. Screen time is a internet kid taken to its sort of logical conclusion. As a youth, he was exposed to his grandfather's experimental internet gas, and that has patched him permanently into the World Wide Web. But of course, because that's what internet gas does, apparently. Snowflake and Safe Space are the twins, and their names are very similar to screen time. It's this idea that these are terms that get thrown around on the internet that they don't see as uh, derogatory to take those words and kind of wear them as badges of honor. Snowflake and... S I I'm sorry, what? Safe Space is kind of a big, burly, sort of stereotypical jock. He can create force fields, but he can only trigger them if he's protecting somebody else. So, essentially, he's useless in a one-on-one -on -one fight. Good to know! Snowflake is non-binary and goes by they, them. What? What the f***? Judging by that like to dislike ratio, that didn't go as planned, did it, Marvel? Let's have a look at the comment section, shall we? Oh, this is gonna be good. <laughs> so, to start things off, we have a comment from Pace Hayes who wrote, Fun fact, this guy wrote a children's book called Santa's Husband, where Santa marries a black Santa. This can't be real, I have to check this out. No way, no way. Oh my god. It's real. It's real. Oh no. This is happening. Oh no. These are the people writing for Marvel now. Oh, no. Well, we're off to a good start, aren't we? <laughs> good. <laughs> Moving on, Karen K wrote, Seriously, how many billions are those diverse non-binary people? Because every major company seems desperate to reach them, even if it means alienating a solid fan base. Well, judging by the comic book sales, not that many. Next up we have GMV VMG. I'm actually sad that I can't dislike twice. 
My guess is that a lot of people watching that abomination thought the exact same thing, GMV. <laughs> From Derek Kuro. <laughs> okay. The final joke is that the 2,000 people who actually voted this garbage up are the same people who won't go out and buy the comics. That's probably accurate. <laughs> From Drillman, you won't stop until you desecrate every single Marvel franchise, character, or concept, will you? No, no they won't. And they're doing a damn good job of it so far. Smoking herbs. Safe space is a stereotypical jock. Show flamboyant men in pink booty shorts. <laughs> Take a moment to consider that these characters are in the same universe as Doctor Doom and Wolverine. This is Marvel now, folks. From Chomag, this is what happens when you think Twitter represents society as a whole. Well, that and letting Twitter and Tumblr run your company. <laughs> Matt H. I'm still baffled this isn't a joke. I can't believe this trash is real. That was my thought initially as well, Matt. A comment from Fanboy Flix. I was expecting the next thing out of his mouth to be. They don't actually fight the villains. They just start hashtags on Twitter to get them cancelled. <laughs> Dagobert X2 wrote, When the biggest villain of the comic is the writer itself. Well, he is the villain, that's for sure. But somebody hired that guy. So, who's the actual mastermind? Alame wrote, Marvel, it's not too late to say this was an April Fool's Day joke. <laughs> well, I'd say at this point it's at least a couple of years too late. <laughs> the next comment comes courtesy of Dave T. Geek. 80s characters reflected what was fun about the 80s. 90s characters reflected what was cool about the 90s. Modern characters reflect only the stupidest aspects of our time. Great! <laughs> you, him, here! Oh, I need a moment! <laughs> I'm an adult. I can handle this. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Impending narcissism. These comics were too cool for me. Suddenly things make a lot more sense. Yes, they do, don't they? When you think about it. <laughs> awesome underscore dad. This is either the greatest troll in history or the end of Marvel. Regardless, my laughter is accompanied by deep sadness. This can't be real. Trust me. <laughs> Underscore dad. If I wasn't laughing, I'd be crying. <laughs> this is so bad. Koichi Izumi. Come on, Marvel. Just rename them the Souls of Justice Warriors. This guy already stated that he's not going for subtlety at all. <laughs> I think subtlety went out the window with Santa's husband, don't you agree? <laughs> Amar Raz. This. This is why boomers disrespect our generation. <laughs> Smuggler fish. Don't make me come down there, Stan Lee. Oh, if only he could, I would pay so much money for that. Mr. Fallout Fan 95. Trailer finishes. Marvel exec, and this will sell comics? Daniel Kibblesmith, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah, you gotta think that the last thing going through his mind was sales. You get the hell out! Jalen170, internet gas. I can't with this stupidity right now. <laughs> oh, no. Stacy A, ouch. Has Daniel Kibblesmith ever actually, you know, interacted with teenagers? Like, in real life, not just in his twin fantasies? <laughs> this is not the guy you want trying to engage with your youth market. I have to agree with you, Stacy. He's definitely not the guy for the job. Help! Help! I'm being repressed! Firefly. Marvel, how can we go bankrupt as quickly as possible? Daniel Kibblesmith, I have an idea! <laughs> oh, I can't take this. <laughs> Ooh. 
You're gonna start up nice and easy. We're gonna see 10% thrust capacity, chief lift. And three, two, one. Next up, we have Red 45 Dead. I'm honestly depressed that this is what Marvel has become. And they still don't understand why their comic sales are plummeting. Well, back to reading Berserk. I'm personally on Full Metal Alchemist right now. It's pretty good. JBC wrote, Biggest villain, a guy with eagle powers named Right Wing. <laughs> People are going for the jugular on this one, aren't they? <laughs> Heavy Rhea asks, Hey Daniel, does your wife's boyfriend like this? <laughs> Surprisingly enough, the dude is actually married to a woman. Scott W. You guys are hating, but Marvel just single-handedly checkmated the toilet paper industry in one move. <laughs> well, Scott, considering how crappy these comics are, I doubt they're even functional as toilet paper, to be honest. <laughs> oh, this is so good. From Trick Bear. South Park can't even do a parody on this. I, I, I don't... I don't think they actually can. <laughs> one Man Army 36 wrote, Marvel, 1963, we give you X-Men and the Amazing Spider-Man. Marvel 2020, we give you Snowflake in safe space. <laughs> oh, this is too good. Lisa Marie wrote, Kibble Smith, I was a wimpy loser in the 90s, so much so that fictional comic book characters scared me. So I created a group of losers in order to have a character like myself. It's funny how all these guys do is project, isn't it? Lisa Bright, Snowflake in safe space, rolls on the floor, laughing hysterically, foaming from the mouth. I get where that's coming from. Funny thing is there's a pandemic going around the globe right now, and I almost hyperventilated to death laughing at this. Lucy Gladiator, even without the bad connotation, Snowflake and Safe Space might just be the worst superhero names ever created. Zerov, Trailblazer looks like she hasn't walked a trail their whole life. <laughs> Sneaky Snack, she has a backpack of divine origin inherited from her grandfather. Ah uh, yes, the ancient North American backpack. <laughs> it's a backpack. Her superpower is basically a bottomless bag from Dungeons and Dragons. I can't with it. <laughs> Arden Lion. As a kid, I always felt comic book characters were scary because they were too cool. So I decided to make them, you know, not <laughs> this dude. <laughs> Apparently, Mr. Kibblesmith's superpower is self-projection. From the protagonist. So you're telling me that you want to sell us a comic book where the lead characters are Dora the Explorer, Tumblr Twinsist, oh my god, Edgy Vampire, and a guy who spends as much time on the internet as most of the Marvel writing staff spend on Twitter, and this is supposed to be serious. J. Jonah Jameson, can you help us out with what you're thinking? J. Jonah Jameson laughs vehemently. I got you covered. <laughs> Liam Matthews, how much money do you want to lose Marvel? <laughs> yes! Well, that seems to sum up the conversation they had pretty nicely, doesn't it? Next up, we have Tom Shane, who wrote, Can't wait for the villain reveals. Enceladus <laughs> and straight white male who have the ability to disrespect women and get paid 30% more. <laughs> From Chimney Smoke. I swear, they were just waiting for poor Stan Lee to die so they could deface his brand beyond recognition. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty plausible at this point. <laughs> the next comment is from one of many of one. More great character ideas. Triggered. The indomitable incel. Based boy. Channer. Starseed and Lightworker. Truther. The Fearsome Fury. Quarantine. <laughs> Vegan? <laughs> oh my God. Hot Yoga Girl, The Millennium Falcon, Spectrum, Super Karen, Mr. DMT, Boomer, NPC, The Simp, and The Feminizer. 
Clickbait 37 writes, I can't wait for the main villain, Captain Microaggression. Some of the replies include, we already had a movie with one. She's called Captain Marvel. And, oh, there will be villains. The Mansplainer, the Mega Man, Orange Menace, the Leg Spreader with Sitting, and so on. Oh, I can't take it anymore. I have something to add to that list. I think the biggest obstacle of them all will be the government form with only two genders on it. Sky Command from Sky Commander. Fans, so, got any new stories on the horizon? Marvel. Send in the clouds! <laughs> Pity of the bread. This seems like the thing a guy named Kibble Smith would make. Vlad Bruce, naming progressive characters Snowflake in safe space. Reality has reached South Park levels. It has, hasn't it? Mike Provost, this looks like what someone would write when they try to parody make fun of SJWs. This can't be real. <laughs> Andrew Otaku, this is why I read manga instead of Western comics. Well, for anyone wondering why manga is suddenly in such demand, just look up what Marvel's been doing the past few years and their newest lineup, and that'll answer the question for you. The Guardian. Snowflake in safe space? Ha <laughs> ha This is going to fail so bad. This is a message from your future. It already has. It never stood a chance. Tom Balmer. I'm sure the 500,000 views are just us downvoters coming back to see if the number is still going up, lol. <laughs> well, I've contributed to that, and yes, it's still going up. Next, we have a comment from Big Mag Large Huge. The fact comments aren't disabled leads me to believe this has to be some complex satire. Laughed so hard, I almost pulled my back out when I heard internet gas and magic backpack. I have a theory that someone at Marvel is so desperate that they greenlit this hoping it would turn into a dumpster fire just so they can showcase the results and say, stop it. The next one is from Mickey2363. Marvel looks at the downvote ratio, but, but Twitter analysis indicates that this is what readers want. Well, reader response dictates, no, it's not. Am I so out of touch? No, it's the children who are wrong. Arrow writes, my heart goes out to the straight white males that'll get blamed when this fails. Well, you know they're gonna blame it on the toxic fans, the straight white guys, the pandemic, the current planetary alignment. Basically on anything but the writers and the artists. Blake Hesse writes, with safe space and snowflake cornered by the evil Dr. Facts and his sidekick logic. How will Trailblazer fare alone against Diabetes Man? Will be negative team up with Commander Cuckle and reach his friends in time? Find out in the next issue. Don't you mean find out in the next reboot? Gen Virtue writes, This doesn't even meet the standards of Marvel Comics or even DC Comics. Bad artwork, novice at best. Well, he's right. On a side note, I know a lot of people that draw just for fun, because they love it. And they do a lot better than these Tumblr rejects that Marvel keeps digging up. The next comment is from Willy706. What about the dwarf Mexican trans woman escape artist named Latinx? <laughs> oh. Oh, <okay. laughs> Dang G writes, why? I'm out. You and me both, Buster. I'll just be sitting here comfortably and enjoying the dumpster fire from a distance. Anybody else that wants to join, pull up a chair. Eric Strassner writes, Don't mind me, I'll just be sitting over here sniffing my internet gas. Internet gas. This is something that's going to be written unironically in a Marvel comic in 2020. Oh my god. <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> oh, I need air. Oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> Joshua Shepard. Hey, a Mass Effect fan. My people, Mass Effect's awesome. Except for, for, except, except for, for Mass 
Effect 3's ending, which totally, totally sucks. I mean, so out of character for... I didn't read the New Warriors when I was a kid because Night Thrasher had a blade coming out of his wrist. And that was really intimidating to me. So now I've created safe space and snowflake. And they're the authority figures in this conflict. A man named Daniel Kipple Smith. Oh, why is this happening? Wow. We have a very interesting question from Drunken underscore Monkey 360. Why is the Asian guy the computer nerd? Pretty racist if you ask me. That's a very legitimate question, Drunken Monkey. You know, it's kind of funny that the whole Twitter crowd turns out to be exactly what they claim to be against. <laughs> Hypocrisy, thy name is Twitter. Richard Stanley says, The mass downvotes give me faith in the future of humanity. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Richard. I feel the same way. Levy Clell writes, Stanley isn't rolling in his grave. He's spinning like a freaking Beyblade. <laughs> I can't do that. I can't take this anymore. <laughs> oh, can you imagine the, the power output Stanley must be giving out? Because he cared so much about these characters. And he cared so much about his readers and fans. And to see the very industry... He helped create. Because let's face it, without Stan Lee, comic books would not be the same. And many others like him, by the way. To see all his work be subverted by these horrible people and be turned into snowflake and safe space and fan bash him. The next one comes from Marcus Justinian. Spider-Man is super strong and uses his webs for lots of stuff. Thor, ability to use lightning and is the literal god. Screen time in 300 meters, turn right. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> My only regret is that I can't go through the majority of these comments because there's some really hilarious stuff out there. I encourage you to check it out yourselves. And by the way, if you like this, let me know and I'll make some more of it. I'm going to leave you with a visual representation of what Marvel is doing to itself right now. <laughs> Good one.